Welcome, my name is Gennaro, business developer at Worldit. Today I want to show you the major changes that we brought with the 3.11 version of Worldit. If we go inside our WordPress editor and see how the article is going to look like from the backend, you can see that as soon as we open the article, Worldit, which is on the right side of our WordPress editor, starts to analyze it. In other words, Worldit is understanding what we wrote and it is extracting a set of entities under the content classification box. Now, this is the first major change. As you can see, now all the entities that Worldit extracted are available here under one tab. And you can also select which category you want to see. If you want to see the what, where, when, who, or all the entities. And we select them we can save the article and basically we are allowing Worldit to do two main things. First, we are creating a schema.org markup, which is making the content of our article readable and understood by search engines and machines. Second, as soon as we selected those words, as you can see, there are some numbers here, which means that Worldit is creating some additional internal links within our article that are pointing to pages within our vocabulary that Worldit is creating as soon as we save the article. Now, the information within those pages is taken from the open linked data, which is basically information which is freely available on the web. If we look at the article from the reader perspective, you're going to see that there are a set of internal links that points to internal pages in your website, which will be pages in your vocabulary. There is a problem though. There are cases in which you may want to mark your content through schema.org, but you don't want to change the reader experience. Therefore, you don't want to create any internal link. Well, now this is possible through our new version, the 3.11, and this is a major change. So if we go again inside our editor, we can click on this arrow here and we can unlink the word that we created through Worldit. Let's do it for all the entities and I'm going to show you how the article is going to look like from the reader's perspective. Now, if we do this for all the entities and then we save the article, we can now look at it again. As soon as we open the article, you can see that there are no more internal links, meaning that machines and search engines know what we are talking about because we still have a schema.org markup of our content, but we are not affecting at all the experience of the reader. So those are the major changes that we brought with the 3.11 version.